What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Ty, Ty West's Pearl, which you know is the prequel to X that came out earlier this year. Now it again is directed by Ty West, written by Ty West, also written by Mia Goth, and it stars Mia Goth, David David Corin Sweat, Tandy Wright, Matthew Sutherland, Emma Jenkins Pearl. Now this film is set in 1918 during the era of the Spanish flu and World War One, and we know the film again is exploring the origins of the origins of Pearl, who is the main villain from X. We know the character we met with her uh, elderly husband Howard. Now, again, the events are taking place prior to this film, and trapped on her family's isolated farm, Pearl must tend to her ailing father under the bitter and overbearing watch of her devout mother, lusting for a glamorous life like she's seen in the movies. Pearl finds her ambitions, temptations, and repressions all colliding in this stunning Technicolor-inspired origin story of X's iconic villain. Now, this is a very deranged film. I'll say that. And I did like the movie. Uh, and even for those that end up not liking it, I don't think there's going to be any denying that this is a well-crafted film that definitely plays out like a sick reimagining of The Wizard of Oz. Mia Goth, I cannot say it enough. She is a phenomenal actress that completely loses herself in this deep character study on the character of Pearl. And from what we've gathered in X and now Pearl, this character has always wanted to be a star, escape her traditional role, and live out her own dreams instead of watching everyone around her live out theirs while she's also having some of her desires be repressed. Uh, like we kind of were getting hinted at with uh, X and those events that played out there. So the stuff we learned about her and her husband, Howard, more specifically, that we first met back in X as well, that definitely makes his character a lot more tragic. The most fascinating aspect of this film was how it always kept you engaged or just intrigued by Pearl as a character, because admittedly, everyone else around her is a pretty bare bones like forgettable character but pearl is always a captivating force and of course a lot of that is due to mia goss acting so i guess in that regard i'll say the movie definitely lives up to its title uh because pearl is a scene stealer uh, speaking of which there's a moment in the movie where she delivers a top contender for monologue of the year i'd say mia goth that being her eyes are pretty teary-eyed for a, a lot of this and her mouth is filling with saliva from her sorrow and her delivery is so impeccable that you just can't help but be engaged the whole time it's like a six minute monologue and i'm like wow she is just devouring this whole sequence it's a moment of confession where pearl realizes that her loved ones were correct when they told her to be content with what she had but now she has to live with that regret forever again like how we see play out in x and how she was trying to warn the character of Maxine, how she's going to be just like her. Uh, again, this dialogue, this monologue moment, it's a very thought provoking moment that just highlights how deranged this woman is and how she's allowed herself to become how deranged she's allowed herself to become because she's allowed her desires and dreams to just simply corrupt her. If anything, this movie shows that <laughs> jealousy is definitely dangerous, is a dangerous thing after all. As for the aesthetic, I cannot praise it enough. The visuals are so rich and vibrant that early on it gives off a false sense of hope for anyone going into the movie blindly, but then it takes a dark turn about five minutes later. The aesthetic is so welcoming, but then the narrative becomes progressively more twisted and unnerving that I couldn't help but just be so in awe by it all. Uh, that contrast was definitely just something that was working and just kept kept being something that was very compelling about the movie one thing about a24 is that they are going to give you a memorable dinner, dinner table scene and when i say that pearl delivers that in more ways than one there's a sequence where pearl's mother is trying to come for the tony she's trying to come for tony collette's neck with her energy that's what i was getting now mind you during this there's also thunder and lightning chiming in to add a lot of tension to the sequence it's a rewarding boiling point because pearl and her mother are not seen eye to eye for the bulk of this movie the movie has wonderful pacing and never wastes an ounce of its runtime i sincerely felt as though everything on screen was necessary scenes that are there to get under your skin are allowed to breathe scenes that are intended to make you feel as uncomfortable as the character on screen are during the situation are handled well and if you're afraid that this movie doesn't have enough gore don't worry because it has more than enough there's even a rotting object that at this point i'm just like this is a representation of how sinister things are slowly getting in this farmhouse the costume designs are another pl another plus about pearl and i really just dug all the nods to the wizard of oz the old-fashioned films in general all the way down to the amazing score that's featured in the movie i'll also have to add pearl on the top 10 list for best editing of the year 
Every performance was impressive, even down to a person who didn't even have a single line of dialogue from my memory. Their facial expressions will be enough to evoke sympathy out of you and feel for them due, due to the crazed character that's targeting them in Pearl. While I might prefer X as far as replay value, anytime I turn this on, I'll know I'm in for a treat as well. It's basically just different in its presentation because it's a character study, but it retains all the qualities that made X so effective. And I think that's what's going to make this movie get over with a lot of people, even if you come out of it thinking, hey, you know, I prefer X. This is a well shot movie. It's beautiful to look at. Mia Goth again is a force to be reckoned with. Ty West, I cannot wait to see how you close this out with Maxine. Uh, a lot of this movie just adds some context to a lot of the events now when you go back and watch X after. And it will just make it all the more rewarding when we have this trilogy to kind of watch in chronological order. Because now when it's all complete, I definitely will watch Pearl first, then X, then Maxine. Because so far and the year just started but somehow ty west he's gonna go out of this decade or this year even too with the best trilogy known to mankind for the, for the decade anyway this is a great trilogy this movie of pearl i think i definitely do prefer the character study aspect of this over some of the narrative of x but but the presentation and the narrative of X is still something that I think for me will have a lot more replay value and something I will want to revisit a lot more. Uh, still, all in all, I have no real complaints with Pearl outside of, again, the characters outside of Pearl were very one note, one dimensional. And that's really it. Maybe some other maybe some other hiccups that I, of course, will notice over several rewatches. But I'm going to give this movie a eight out of ten. And if you guys have seen Pearl or if you haven't, let me know what you guys think about this review. Let me know what you guys think about Pearl. If you've seen it already down in the comment section below. And are you excited for Maxine? Do you have any high hopes for Maxine? What do you prefer so far out of the two? Do you prefer X? Do you prefer Pearl? And it was nice to see that alligator again or that crocodile, whatever it was. Um, let me know about that all down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all of that in mind guys i will see you in the next video